And HK Newsline comes to you live from Tokyo. Let's get a weather update with Sayaka Mori, who starts off with the deadly mudslides in Colombia. Sayaka. Yes, James, it's definitely a tragedy. In fact, deadly mudslides occurred in southwestern portions of Colombia. This is the start of the rainy season. Now, from late Friday to early Saturday, 130 millimeters of rain fell. That's one third of the monthly rainfall for this time of year. And it caused this. Take a look at this video. At least 254 people have been killed due to deadly landslides in Colombia over the weekend. The tragedy occurred Saturday when heavy downpours overwhelmed the rivers in Makoa, triggering mudslides in the city. Because of the massive scale of the devastation leading to a large number of injured people, the emergency services of the main hospital in the area collapsed. The city is in the middle of the Amazon rainforest that can only be reached by air and on dangerous roads. Now, in fact, over the past seven days, the area saw nearly 300 millimeters rain. So the ground is extremely saturated. And on top of that, more heavy rain fell. Now, again, this is the start of the rainy season. On Monday and Tuesday, the area could see more heavy rainfall. And the rainy season will likely continue for the next several months or so. And down towards the south, there are a couple of spots of well, heavy rainfall in the south of Ecuador and also the north of Peru. Now, if you remember, Peru has been contending with deadly floods at least 100 people have been killed since over the past three months or so. More rain is expected, so significant weather events are happening across parts of South America. And in North America, deadly tornado occurred in the south of Louisiana. In fact, there are 10 reports of tornadoes in Texas as well as Louisiana, and one of them occurred in the south of Louisiana. We have some footage coming out of the state. A tornado flipped the mobile home off its foundation in South Central Louisiana on Sunday. The tornado killed a toddler and her mother. Her father went to the grocery store before the storm hit the house. The weather agency warned it was a particularly dangerous situation in Louisiana. Now, since the beginning of this year, there were nearly 400 reports of tornadoes. So it has been a very active year in terms of tornadoes in the southern uh, in the United States. There is more to come. In fact, the severe weather maker will continue to move over the deep south at a slow pace into the next three days or so. There's a potential for severe thunderstorms, large hail, and even more tornadoes in the similar locations. Now, towards the west, there's a chance for up to 40 centimeters of snowfall in and around, uh, in and around the Four Corners region, and winds are going to be quite strong, but it's going to be dry in Seattle, 12 for the high with sunny weather on Monday and Washington DC you'll see some rainfall with the high of 17 degrees and across Asia we saw thunderstorms in central Tokyo and the risk for severe weather is now shifting towards the east and there is a chance for rainfall across the north of Japan as well but as we go into tomorrow it's going to be a calm day now it's going to be a warm day in Tokyo 17 for the high and it looks like it's gonna be even warmer as we go into the rest of the work week. All right, that's from now. Here's Extended Forecast.